I mean, one of the little truisms that I always have to spew is dose matters. You know, like, <laughs> like how can dose not matter? Right. But, you know, the mantra after the Women's Health Initiative was the smallest dose for the shortest amount of time and the smallest dose to suppress night sweats and hot flashes because that was the only indication and still remains pretty much the only official indication is suppress night sweats and hot flashes forget about everything else and it turns out it can consider it a blessing or a curse that the amount of estrogen even a little progesterone or testosterone seems to be able to do it um that will suppress night sweats and hot flashes is like a whiff but the amount that you would want to actually do more than that is going to be a higher amount now it does turn out as well that the amount of estradiol to help to stop bone loss so it will slow the um the you know the resorption of bone is also a relatively small amount but the problem is that it's not going to be the same if you want to work on brain if the, if you think about growth factors okay one of the problems that's never ending is the uterus and nobody wants to have the uterine lining grow because if you grow it you must shed it you can't grow the uterine lining and then just let it keep growing. It's going to become unstable, fall out, and then you get random bleeding. And that's not acceptable to anybody. And um, you've got to do something. So you, uh, so the solution that's most common now is to give tiny, tiny amounts of estradiol. Often, if you measure the level in the blood, which is the gold standard, and it's measured in picograms per milliliter, the levels remain in the menopausal range. They're so low because um, you can still have, if you go from a level that is 15 to 30, which is still menopausal level, uh, you can actually have some reduction. It may take 12 weeks. I mean, that's the kind of length of time, like, well, stick with it for 12 weeks and see, to suppress night sweats and hot flashes. Uh, you're not sure, like, what is that? Is that placebo? It takes eight to 12 weeks. But in any case, giving um, little bits of estradiol will help in that regard, it, it seems, but you're not gonna grow too much. You will still grow a little bit of uterine lining over time, like drip, drip, drip if, from the faucet. If the drain is plugged, eventually the, the sink basin will be filled with water and overflow. And eventually some women will start having random bleeding, even on these teensy doses. Let, let me just step in uh, for one second. 